Good afternoon, I'm Ryan Hoffman and you're watching the 5 Minute Stoplight Show, continuous education for professionals and investors in the area of real estate and finance. Uh, to get you started, if you haven't been watching the show before, basically what we do is I live in Santa Monica, California, however I work in Moreno Valley, California and if you don't know that's about 100 miles each way. Um, I take that opportunity to turn that into a good thing. So I go to real estate investment clubs and any kind of seminar I can find on a weekly basis um, any all over Southern California, whether it be the LA County, the Inland Empire, or I go down to San Diego twice a week, I'm sorry, twice a month. So I try and compile all that information and I also uh, consume a, a large quantity of audiobooks whenever I'm driving. So I like to compile all the continuous education I'm receiving and give that to you so that way if you if there's something unique that I've learned I can pass it to you and you can start gathering more information um, this week's show I wanted to uh, make it a book show so I'm gonna talk about three books that I've read recently that I've really enjoyed and I'm gonna tell you why uh, what are the main takeaways from them and why I think you guys should read them um, I'll go in the order in which I, I feel they're important the first book is shift uh, shift is a book written by Gary Keller he's the founder of Keller Williams uh, co-founder mm. Uh, it's specifically for professionals in the real estate industry, but investors can learn a lot from it too. Um, the whole premise of the book is to get people who are in the industry to re-examine what their strong points are and how they do their marketing and how they generate their business that they have. And if when we're going through times like this where uh, the market will shift from a buyer's market to a seller's market or a seller's market to a buyer's market and where there's seemingly... Um, situations that you've never seen before and like all this foreclosure stuff and all the MERS issues and all that all that nonsense it gives you a frame of reference to say to stand back and say what part of my business is doing well and how do I need to get back to basics and see what I need to do to get more than my fair share of the business because everyone right now is doing the same thing they've been doing and they say oh no the market's just bad it's not my fault blah 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 so it's basically a stop whining, re-examine what you're doing, and find a way to get more business. Um, book number two is The Millionaire Real Estate Investor, also written by uh, Gary Keller. It's part of the same book series. Um, I love this book um, for investors and for agents alike. Um, the, it basically takes you step by step from, a, from being a bird dog, um, scout, just finding deals and you don't have any money, and how your investment career progresses to the point where you are, they call a, a, a level, a seventh level investor, where basically you can completely remove yourself from the investment business, and you're still finding deals. They're, they're still getting done, and and you've basically hired away all of your responsibilities. And you don't, and even when you leave the investment side, the investment business, it's still generating new deals and more income, and it's and it, it, be, it takes on a life of its own. So it takes you all throughout the steps. Um, and it, you know, for investors who are right now at a certain stage and, and they know that they're doing really good in what they're doing right now, it could be, uh, something that's good for you so that you think, okay, I know I'm doing really good, but I could be at a next level if I, for instance, right now I'm only doing flipping, but I could be generating a much more long-term financial if financially, if I were to do to, uh, let's say what, um, what I what Mike Canty always talks about, which was buy three, keep keep one, and uh, sell two. Um, I, he could uh, the numbers could be a little different on that, but that's basically what he says: is not just flipping for short term gain, but but holding on to some for for long term equity buildup, and and that's just a good way of thinking on it, balancing between the short term and the long term. So uh, I really recommend that book. I love the way it's written. Um, lastly is for mainly for investors and a little bit for a little bit for agents too but it's a uh, Trump strategies for real estate it was written by George Ross I really love this book um, the main thing about this book that I love is that it gives you a new way of looking at real estate deals and turning problems into opportunities um, George Ross is the right-hand man for Donald Trump um, and he's a real estate attorney in New York City and uh, he had the good fortune of working for a couple of investors who were really, really, really smart and actually pretty much trained him on the business of real estate investing and not just the law of real estate. Uh, and he got to grow into that. And then as, as a young, uh, 
as a, uh, a young attorney, he had the opportunity to start working with Donald Trump, and then they were, you know, they're, they they worked very closely over the years. They have a lot of really good case studies in there, talking uh, about 40 Wall Street and Trump Towers and all, all of his deals and what makes his, his real estate deals better than others. Um, what I also really like is that it's written about Trump, but it's not written by Trump. Anyone who's written, written any, I'm sorry, uh, read any books by Donald Trump knows that they'd have a certain uh, a certain arrogance and a and a certain pompousness to them, which I really don't like. But George Ross is really really good, and uh, and I love the the way um, the way you can learn to look at deals differently. Um, those are uh, those are the three books I really recommend for you. Um, if you have any comments or or uh, anything you want to pass along to me, um, please shoot me an email or uh, give me a call. My email address is r, as in Ryan, Hoffman, H-O-F-F-M-A-N, at WCCLoans.com. And I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below. Leave a comment on Facebook. And uh, I'll see you guys in a couple days.